What's going on you guys? My name is Nito Cheeto and I'm back playing some more Hearthstone. I'm about to hop into an arena match <coughs> right now, as you can see by me just doing it. So uh, we're going to play um, some arena. Uh, that's all. That's all I got. Um, so we got a mage, a dru um, <coughs> we have a mage, a druid, and a shaman. And uh, what do I want to play, man? I don't know. Um... Let's play a mage, I guess. I don't... Yeah. Sure. Let's play a mage. Let's try it. Let's just go with what we feel here. So, uh, I'm gonna go through, pick my cards, uh, tell you why, and then uh, we'll hop right into some games. Yeah. So, uh, Defender of Argus is one of my favorite cards in the game. Um, Kirin Tor Mage is really good, but I think Defender of Argus has more for us. So, we got a Polymorph, a Stranglethorn, and a Frostwolf. Polymorphs are essential to a lot of mage decks, so I want to at least get one into my deck while I know that it's there. Frost Wolf Grunt, a Wolf Rider, and an Ogre Magi. Um, I'll take the Taunt out of there. The Taunt is uh, what I want and what I need. Um, Ice Barrier is a really, really good secret. Argent Squire gives, has Divine Shield, and the Archmage is Spell Damage plus one. Uh, I'll take the Ice Barrier out of that. I want to get a few secrets on my deck while I can. Um... Arcane Explosion, very good. Blue Girl Warrior, not bad. Spellbreaker, not bad at all. Uh, I'll take the Spellbreakers. The Silence of a Minion can be very good if they play a Taunt. So we got another Polywarf. Uh, Polywarf? Uh, another Polymorph. Uh, a Stormwind and an Ice Barrier. I'll take the second Polymorph for sure. Okay. Uh, we have Cult Master. We have a Mogshan Mog Warden. Blah. And a Stormwind Champion. Uh, a Stormwind is such a great card, and I think I want to have one in my deck. Uh, I, I don't want to tailor it too much towards like the upper side, but I think it's important to have one. Um, so we got an Emperor Cobra, a Light Warden, and an Ancient Watcher. Um, I'll take the Cobra. I'll take the Cobra for sure. Um, so we got a Delarian Mage, another Frost Wolf, and a Wind Fury Harpy. Uh, the Wind Fury Harpy is very tempting, but I don't want to get too many high tier cards. But then again, do I want two Frost Wolf Grunt Taunts? I mean, maybe. Let's take one Harpy. It's not gonna hurt us to have it. Um, so Vaporize when a minion attacks your hero, destroy it. Ancient Mage give an adjacent minion spell damage plus one, and uh, a Sun Fury Protector give adjacent minions taunt. Sun Fury Protector is pretty interesting, and it's a two mana, so let's take it. We got a Core Hound, an Iron Beak Owl, and another Delarian Mage. Um, let's take an Iron Beak. Good to have the low levels that we can play. We don't have any card draw yet, so uh, let's take a Novice to get some of that. Flesh Eating Ghoul, a Gnomish, and a South Sea Deckhand. Um, let's take some more card draw. A little bit more card draw is definitely not going to hurt us. Um, so we got a blizzard, we have a violent, violet teacher, and an imp master. Um, not really making an imp deck, so I don't really care for the imp master. Um, four mana for a three five isn't terrible, but I think the blizzard's gonna help us out a lot, so let's take that. Fireball is great, uh, Warren Infiltrator is great, and Cone of Cold is also great. Um, Let's take the Kona Cold. It's a better spell, in my opinion. So we got a Shield Bear, an Ogre Magi, and a Silverback Patriarch. Uh, I'm going to take the Shield Bear. We need some more low-level stuff. We're very heavy towards the middle here right now. Um, let's take a Twilight Drake. It's, I know it's still... We're, we're, we're leaning towards the middle. Okay, so here we go. Um, a Priestess of a Loon is a, a pretty good card because it restores health, but I'd rather take the Geomancer to have some more creatures. Uh, out of all these, we already have our Harpy, and I don't want to take a bunch more, so let's take another Taunt. So we have an Argent Commander, who has Charge and Divine Shield, which is actually very good, but it's only a 4-2. I'd rather take another Defender of Argus, because I think it can help us out in the long run. So we got a Brewmaster, a Jungle Panther, and a another Spellbreaker. Uh, the Brewmaster can be really good, but I'd rather have the Panther. For the stealth. Another shield bearer, a shield bearer, a Gurubashi Berserker, and a novice engineer. We're getting pretty low with our cards here, and we don't have a lot of like high I mean, we have a good mix of stuff here, but we don't have anything that's gonna really win us. We're gonna have to really combo back and forth a lot. Um 
I'll take the novice. Get some more card draw. So we have a mirror entity, a raid leader, and a mana worm. Um, we can definitely combo the mana worm with some of our spell stuff, but at the same time, you know, it's not too, too good. Uh, mirror entity could be good. But I'll take a raid leader out of it. A light warden and uh, eternal arc. Uh, Arcanist and another Argent Commander. Um, <sighs> I kind of like this. Let's, I haven't played the Arcanist before, so let's grab it. So we got another Blizzard, a Stampeding Kodo, and an Angry Chicken. I don't want the Angry Chicken. Another Blizzard would be interesting, but I'd rather have another Beast. You know, a Beast. Mirror Image is good. Uh, Frost Nova is amazing, so I'm going to grab it while I can. We already have another Iron Beak. Um, Sorcerer's Apprentice is nice. Bad Bomber is, um, dangerous. I think I'll take the Sorcerer's Apprentice. Three cards left. Arcane Explosion, uh, is a good card. And the other two are pirates that aren't that good. We don't have a weapon, so that's not really going to help us. Let's do Arcane Explosion. Another Frost Nova, which could be really, really useful, but do I want that over these two? Yeah, I do. And our last card is an Inmaster, a Bloodsail Corsair, or a, an Azure Drake. Um, yeah, Azure Drake. Alright, so this is our deck. No, uh, no legendaries or any of that kind of stuff. But not a bad deck. <laughs> um, we're very heavy in the two fours, which is fine by me, because we can combo pretty well with it. Um, yeah, let's get going. Let's do it. Uh, we got our two polymorphs. We got Frost Novas. Uh, we're definitely not in a bad position at all. So, uh, let's see what we can do. I don't know, man. Every time, every time I go into, every time I go into the arena, it's a scary thing. Because it's one of those things where you're you're putting, you know, gold that you've received over playing the game for a long time. Or actual money that you pay some people. Um, you know, you're, you're putting it on the line. Really. Oh, excuse me. Okay, so, um... I'm gonna keep this Frost Nova in my hand. You know what? No, I, I I need I need better early game cards if I can get them. So let's let's toss it back out. A novice and a this is great. This is a fantastic early draw. We could coin up to a taunt. This is a weird glitch that's going on right now. How the cards just kind of floating here. Uh, okay. Um, do we want to coin up to that taunt? He won't be able to kill it. So, let's do it. Let's point up to the taunt. I don't know why this character is like floating here. It's a kind of a weird glitch, but eh, it is what it is. You like my uh, like my flying eagle sound? He's gonna. You can't do that. Okay, so he silenced it. That's annoying. So you're going to attack my... Is it going to put the card down finally? Okay, so it finally went down instead of floating there. Okay, so we have a 2-2. We can take it out. Um, let's snag card draw. Card draw's no miss. That's fine. And then... Let's take out the 1-2? Let's take out the 1-2 because it'll keep our card on the board. He can do 2 damage to it if he wants to. I mean, hell, he can do two damage to me if he wants to. That's not a big deal to me. So there's, there's a Torrid Warrior. Um, I'm guessing he'll take out one of my things. Otherwise, I can take out that Torrid Warrior, which I would do. Or I would want to do. Um, we'll see how it goes, though. Okay, so he did. He traded. That's fine. So, this will only deal one damage, and if I attack it, it'll deal another damage. So, it's like, do I want to, what do I want to do here? You know, I only have three. I could play this, but it would only make this a one-three. So, it would survive the attack, but then it would give him in, make him enraged. To do? He only has three cards, too, so he's low on cards comparatively. 
So what I think I should do here is play another minion and then end my turn. And we'll see, we'll, we'll let him make the move because we will be able to take it out if we want to. And I mean, I have a no, uh, 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 a no mission vendor that I can play to get a little bit more card draw on the next turn. So we'll see how it goes. It's, we're just kind of playing it as slow, you know, fairly slowly right now. And, uh, I, I mean, he'll attack something with it. I'm curious as to if... That's an interesting move. He must have a kill card, I'm guessing. Okay, so he copied two of my cards. That's pretty annoying. I have some good... Hopefully he didn't get the... I don't know, if, the, if he got the Stormwind, it's not that big of a deal. He doesn't have anything that can kill, because I don't have one mana cards. So he just copied three of my cards. That's kind of ridiculous. Wow. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, so there's a Sun Fury. We could give it Taunt, but that wouldn't be useful. So let's take it out. We have the board clear. We'll play a Gnomish to get some card draw. That gives us our Polymorph. That's big if he plays a, a, a big card that we don't want on the board. So I'm feeling okay. I'm wondering what he got out of our hand. I mean, I'm sure that we'll see soon. We have a lot of we have a lot of low mana cards in our hand. So so he got a Gnomish, it looks like. Looks like he's gonna buff it. Yep, he buffed it up to a 4-4. That's fine. So there's a taunt that we can definitely throw out. Um we don't have any spells in our hand. I want to try to save the Sorcerer's Apprentice for when we have spells. So we don't have any yet. Um, let's toss out our taunt. We have three mana left over. I don't want to waste the freeze on this. This would only give them one attack, so that would only make him a three. Wouldn't allow him to kill me, and then I, uh, me to kill him. What to do? What to? You know what I'm gonna do? No, no, that's not. Let's just hey, attack him directly. Uh. Attack you, and then end it. Because if he attacks it with this, it's gonna take out him because it's, we got two, we got him down to two health. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. We, I mean, we have this this. Sun Fury Protector is very useful because giving the adjacent minions taunt, depending on how many silences he has, obviously, uh, is kind of interesting. So he see, silenced my thing there. So right as we're talking about silences, he silences it. So he's going to heal the gnomes. That's a good play. That's a good play. He's, he'll attack me directly, I'm sure. Yep. All right. He's going to leave it alive. All right. Okay, so we have a Wind Fury Harpy. I'd like to combo that with this, uh, protector. Now's a good time to freeze him. Um. I'm gonna take out what I can. And I'm gonna leave it to him to see what he plays. I'm 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 kind of biding my time because I have a very interesting kind of mix of cards here. So he can't use his. Okay, so there's an Azure Drake. He's getting a little bit of card draw. He's gonna probably heal himself. I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay. It's a good play. We can polymorph, but do I want to use the polymorph just yet? Not really. I'd like to. Okay. There's our own Azure Drake. Could uh, this is a hard decision here? I want to get something out on the board, but what do I? What would I want a polymorph? You know, I don't want to eat the eight damage, so I want to polymorph something. So let's polymorph the Drake, and then we'll play this just to have it out there. See what he attacks. See what he decides to do. We're kind of we're at a, we're definitely at a disadvantage in this game right now. We don't have anything. We haven't been drawing any of our taunts or anything like that. So I'm kind of just trying to trying to stave him. Like <laughs> I'm trying to make it so he gets back a little bit, so I have time to get like the cards that I need to make a move. Unfortunately, I don't have the cards I need right now to really make a move. Um, at least not make a strong move forward. I'm doing that thing where sometimes you get behind in a game a little bit. And you have to toss out cards that you would usually be able to use offensively. You have to toss them out 
to kind of bait somebody into trying to take them out. So, instead of healing, he has damage. That's a, that's a good play, because he kills me immediately, and then he'll be able to do 5 damage to me. He has 8 damage next turn, which is worrying. We have an Iron Beak, which can silence you, which brings him back down to 2. I'm going to toss out my Drake to get the card draw. Let's see what we get. Okay, Stampeding Kodo. That actually could be good. Um, it might kill the Polymorph, though. So I'd want to take that out first. We'll see We'll see what he decides to do, and we'll see how, how this goes. What I would like to do is give that Drake taunt if he doesn't kill it. But I have a feeling he will kill it. He has the- yeah, I, I had a feeling he'd trade there. I have a feeling he'll, he'll do two damage. Okay, so there's- We haven't got our defenders either, which puts us at a severe disadvantage. Um... We're in a- we're in a, sh <laughs> we're in a shitty position. I'm guessing he'll, he'll take out the Drake... By probably attacking with, uh... With this, uh, Soul Priest? But he has five mana left, so... And the Soul Priest makes it so this does damage instead of health, so I'm just, uh... I'm in a bad spot. <laughs> I'm in a bad spot. I'm in a bad spot. He's running out of time, though, so he's gonna have to decide soon. Okay, he threw out a tiger. He'll attack, I'm sure. Oh, he's... Silence. I don't know what that did for him. My Drake wasn't... Wasn't doing anything, really. Okay, so let's... Your magic shall Silence not one. Be. Tossing out the Kodo is not going to do anything for us yet. S but... If we attack you, and then toss it, he's, he's gonna have enough to kill us. So we have to do this to make our minions taunted. Do this to take you out, and uh, end our turn. So he's gonna have to deal with that stuff. Um... We'll see, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. That's, I mean, that's what we had to do to stay in the game. So, I mean, if we can build momentum off of this, we can we can try to stay in here, but... <sighs> we'll see. We'll see. We're on the fence right now. Especially having that tiger is, is very annoying. I know... Okay, so there's a Holy Nova. That really puts a damper in my plan. I was waiting for one to come out. He probably has two. Uh, no. I mean, he can easily take out the... I'm guessing he'll, like, he'll take out the... Yeah, he'll take that out. He'll sacrifice the Argus. Attack directly. He'll attack with the Tiger, I'm guessing, to put the pressure on. Yeah. Okay. That was a well-played. That was a well-played move. <laughs> Puts me in a position where I gotta take everything out. Okay. We get the Polymorph. Okay, Polymorph's big. We gotta play it. Um... That'll make it a 3-1. I'll have three left over. So I can t take you out. I can... I, I think I lose no matter what I do. Really. I raid leader. I mean, I'll attack it, but... Uh, you know, we'll give him a well played and concede because he's going to win regardless, so... You know, not the way we wanted to start out this run for sure, but uh, sometimes you run into priests that just have the right combination of stuff. Um, you know, that's how it goes sometimes. Sometimes you, you, uh, something, something that uh, I've learned playing this game a lot 
is the fact that you have to kind of almost shut down what happened on your last run and just play it round by round, you know? Play it run by run. Don't don't bring the loss into the next <laughs> into the next battle. But regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, I hope that in the next one we can uh, do some good stuff with this deck. It's not a bad deck. It's not the best deck we've ever had, but it's definitely not a bad deck. We'll see what we can do with it. Um, but regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you can leave a like if you want to. You don't have to. It's up to you. And uh, I will be back for the next episode soon. So yeah. All right. See ya.